Hey everybody, it's Melody with Realty Executives Main Street and I want to talk to you today about open houses. Now, there are some wonderful things that go on at open houses, but there may be some things that you are not aware of. So, stay tuned. So, a lot of times there will be um, on the MLS, on Zillow, on Realtor.com, Redfin, wherever you search for real estate, sometimes it will say open house. And what a buyer may think an open house is, oh, great, I can go check out a property without having an agent. That is true. You can. You can go to that property. It, the house is open for you to tour, to walk around the outside, yada, yada, yada. But most of the time, the person who is holding the open house is not the listing agent. Let me say that again. So most of the time, the person who is at the open house is not the listing agent. Oftentimes, newbies starting out in real estate um, will not have a whole lot of what we call leads. And so many times, some seasoned agents will ask some newbies to hold their open house so that maybe they can get some potential clients, which is a very kind thing to do. However, when you walk in to an open house, immediately someone is going to greet you and they're going to introduce themselves and ask you have if you have any questions about the home. However, their main objective is to get you as a client, which again, is totally okay. But if you have signed a buyer's representation agreement with an agent already, and you go to an open house, you need to disclose that. You need to tell the person who is hosting the open house, I'm here to tour the open house. I've already signed a, a buyer's representation agreement. Thank you. If I have any questions, I'll let you know. They will appreciate it. That way they won't waste their time. Um, and you're, you know, can relax and know that you're going to that open house and that your agent is aware of it. And most of the time, if I'm your agent, I'll go with you. Um, I've been on open house appointments with my clients before and we have the most fun, but if I can't be with you, um, I will try to give you a business card or something just so, um, you can relay it to whoever is hosting the open house. So I just wanted to let you know that technically you are not a client until you have signed a buyer's representation agreement. If you have that and you have signed it and your agent has gone over that with you, then you have technically hired them to be your realtor. So if you have signed that and another agent at an open house or wherever says, are you currently working with an agent? Your answer is yes, because that, um, buyer's representation agreement is your commitment to the realtor and the realtors to you to work with each other. And so part of that is saying, yes, I am working with an agent. If you have not signed anything uh, digitally or in person, then you are open to talk with any agent about anything that you so choose. But Just be aware that if you go to an open house and you have not signed a buyer's representation agreement, um, there may be an agent there who is going to want to talk with you more and so that they can then become your agent, which is totally okay as long as you are aware of the terminology. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'll do my best to address them. Until next time.